Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Utzi from Maranatha in Plain City, Ohio. You know, most of you probably got another stimulus uh, check. I know we did um, here a week or so ago. And one of the things that I noticed when they were trying to pass that bill, and, and there, probably, there may be another one coming up, but they're, they're, Congress is passing bills all the time, right? I think one of the things that frustrates me is that when you see a bill, the bill was not just passed on the one single item. Like, if somebody wants something else, they'll add things to the bill, right? And so you've got this COVID stimulus relief bill, but added to that are all these other items. And so if you want this, then you've also got to take that. Or if you want that, then I want this. And so all these things are getting targeted toward a bill, and it makes it hard to get anything done. <laughs> it makes it hard to pass anything. And that just frustrates me. It's like, let's concentrate on one thing at a time and, and do it based on its merits. And I got to thinking about God and how he does things. And um, how is it that, that we are actually saved? If God put together a bill um, for the salvation of mankind, for the salvation of you and me, for, for our salvation, and by the way, he did, there is a, a redemption plan and it's through Jesus Christ. But, but what if he said, you know what? Yes, I got a plan. I'm gonna send my son and he's gonna die on the cross and it's gonna be by his blood they're saved. But not only that, but not only, not only do they have to accept that and accept that I'm good, but they also have to do this. Like they have to do X, they have to do Y, they have to do Z. So if they, if they accept me and my goodness and the plan I had for them, plus part of that plan is also for them to earn it on their own merit, doing their own thing, right? And it's like, okay, how would we ever know whether we've done enough, right? Like, what are we doing convoluting the grace of God? And, and I think that's what we often do. We may not do it consciously or deliberately, but I think a lot of us uh, uh, bring works into it. And we wonder if we've done enough to satisfy God and and to earn merit and favor and the love of God and let's clean ourselves up and then we can come to God. But God, no, that's not what he did. He knows we can't do it on our own. And he sent his only son. Like he paid the ultimate price, sent the most precious thing, the most awesome treasure. And listen to what, how Ephesians 2, and this is a very, if you're a Christian, this is a very common, popular um, set of verses in Ephesians 2, but I think sometimes we just forget it. Like we need to apply this gospel grace and remember it for our own lives so that we can accept and walk in his grace. And that those that don't know it can read this and say, really, that's all there is to it? When I say all there is to it, it costs Jesus a lot and God the Father a lot. And to us, it, it's free, but it's a gift we have to accept. And that's sometimes hard for us to do. We want to earn it and, and think that there's something we've done. But listen to what it says. But God, in verse 4, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with Christ even though we were dead in trespasses. Like the contrast of we're dead in our trespasses, but we're made alive through Christ. He raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might display the immeasurable riches of his grace. I know one of the concerns when, when they're trying to pass a bill and, and they get so high and you look at the stimulus bill that may come that, that they may want to pass, it's $2,000. It's like, what is the cost of that? Where are we going to get the money? How can we afford that? Well, when you look at God, it's riches, it's immeasurable. An infinite store. His grace will never run out. His goodness to us it abounds in mercy and there's just it won't run out and forever and ever like we get to enjoy the treasure of his grace through his kindness to us in Christ Jesus no other way no other way through Christ Jesus for you have been saved by grace through faith it is not from yourselves you can't just look inside of you and say what is it inside and go after that no 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 it's not of yourself it's God's gift, not from works, so anyone can boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. Yeah, out of appreciation and who God makes us to be as a new creation, we will want to desire 
to do good works for him. But that's not what saves us. What saves us is, is faith in Jesus Christ. So there, you don't add anything. You know, Paul was telling them, he was speaking to the church, he said, you know, it's not Paul, it's not Apollos, it's not, you're not adding Jesus Christ plus me, Jesus Christ plus Paul, Jesus Christ plus Apollo, Jesus Christ plus your favorite pastor, Jesus Christ plus your good works, the things that you do. None of that saves. Read 1 Corinthians 13 at the beginning. None of that saves. It's only through love and the love of God has for us. And so here's the bottom line. We can only be saved and go in peace when we accept his bill of grace. And there's only one thing in that bill, and that's Jesus Christ. Let's not forget that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Bottom Line.